Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and Mystical Genies and Sierra are bringing us our game today. Today we are playing Freedom Force versus the Third Reich. This is superheroes v Nazis, which sounds great, actually. Look, there's <laughs> these are sort of like the 1950s, 60s, 70s era superheroes. Before they got cool in the MCU, you know, this is what superheroes looked like when I was a kid growing up. Uh, I didn't grow up in the 50s, 60s, and 70s, but like I grew up in the 80s, and like yeah, like uh, superheroes and stuff looked a lot sort of zanier. I think the MCU has done a really, really good job of taking what looked like zany, silly costumes and making them actually work in the real world without it seeming crazy, which, which is like you know any any of the superheroes you know like captain america or uh, iron man or anyone they could look very silly in real life and uh case in point see the first captain america movie that was made in the 90s but uh no i mean like they, they've done a really good job in modern times of like finding the voice for those heroes but anyway we're returning to a campier time and i am all for it because this is a fun era too and uh, we even got the comic book font here on the, the title. This this is cool. I don't know what kind of game this is. I think it's like a top-down RPG or action RPG or something. So um, let's go easy, I guess, just to sort of keep it simple. And then we'll go. Can you imagine a planet so primitive? That beauty planet is the only thing that lies between you and utter control of the universe! It would amuse me if it were to destroy itself. We shall give them the power of Energy X. Seek out the greediest, basest, and most corrupt of their number. To these wretches, we shall give power beyond their imagination. Behold the dawn of Energy X. <laughs> Who could have foretold? So this is where the Nazis got all their power, eh? Foreseen the heroes it would inspire. What if I were to steal the Energy X? I could travel to Earth and find worthy men and women to endow with its power. They could stand up to the monstrosities Lord Dominion intends to create. Statue of the Minuteman. Mentor. Power surging into me. Ah! I am growing younger. Body bursting with strength. Ay, caramba! I'm lifting up into the sky! I have the power to control flame! <laughs> this is great, by the way. These are all sort of like riffs, and like uh, they're leaning into the cheesiness of like classic superheroes. This is great, though. I devote my life to finding a way to cure myself. Until that day, the world shall only know me as the Manbot. <laughs> the Manbot! <laughs> You will use my powers to convert wrong into right. Such will be the work of the alchemist. I can burrow, climb walls, and I've been given incredible strength and agility. It must be the ants. Liberty Lad is on the sea. They call me Eve. <laughs> Whoa, Eve. Jeez. I like how the stories are getting faster now. They're like, and there's a little kid called Liberty Lab. This guy's a bullet. We have law and order. Together, these heroes... Man of War and Sea Urchin. So random. What's the theme there? Never before has such a hall of heroes been assembled. I like how Eve was just some chick in a bikini in Central Park, and they were like, hop on board, you're on our team. But <laughs> such glory comes not without a price. I must remain here to hold open the time portal. Farewell, my comrades. Farewell, my friends. There will be future challenges. Meet them as you have met this one, as heroes. Freedom Force has mourned their lost comrade, mourned him, and moved on. Oh, Manbot's but dead already? One of their number, the past is not so easy to forget. To forget. Alright, we lost Manbot. He was literally just introduced. Was there a prior game to this? Maybe this is like the second or third game in a franchise? Uh, by the Goddess! Oh, didn't even hey, get to read Alice, that. Come and look at this hot little number. Plus, she's got superpowers, too. Holy cats! It's the alchemist! What's she doing here? Peaches and cream? How did I get here? I'm smack dab in the middle of Patriot Park. Alchemist, this is Minuteman. <laughs> Have you located Manbot yet? Manbot? But he's... What do you mean? 
There's no time to waste, girl. If you don't find Manbot soon, all could be lost. What? Minuteman, I don't understand. M Manbot's gone, trapped in another dimension. There's no time for your girlish fantasies, soldier. Get a move on. Find Manbot. But he's gone. He sacrificed himself to save us. How can you not remember? Minuteman? Minuteman! But no one answers the plaintive pleas of the stunning sorceress. And so she does what heroes do. She acts. This is great so far. I'm getting like the boys and the tick vibes. Okay, so we... Click. Wait, how do we move? The status bar in the bottom right shows details on the target object. Move the pointer over the thug ahead to examine him. There's a thug! Club carrying troublemaker. Examine this marker to receive helpful info. When you left click on an enemy, you execute your default attack. Try it on the thug ahead. Uh, slap! Say hello to Mr. Bat. <laughs> Biff. <laughs> no more! I'll squeal! This thug has surrendered. Left click on him to interrogate. This is like Diablo but with superheroes. If you're looking for that big tin can, they took him uptown. Well, that was easy. And he just passes out. KO'd. Right click on the thug ahead to bring up the command menu and choose Arcane Bolt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, another one over here. Supposed to go this way, but, like, what's over here? I guess we'll make our way over there. When dealing with multiple enemies at once, try and remove some of them from the fight temporarily. Use alteration on one of the thugs ahead, then attack the other one. Flicks a random curse upon the target. Hypnotized. Peaches and cream. <laughs> Peaches and cream. Ah, diggity dog. Here it comes. Yeah, that's more like it. So I'm guessing eventually we get more superheroes. Yeah, that's more like it. All right. We got over here. Clearly all left by Captain America. I mean, Minute Man. The escape key brings up the main menu. From there, you can save and load games or adjust options. Yeah. I like how these like little tutorial options are like optional. I could run past you all these prestige markers. By completing objectives, prestige can be used to attract new heroes to your team. Oh. Avoid damaging buildings or hurting civilians, or you will lose prestige. Gotcha. So there's El Diablo. I will use curse on him. Get away from me! What's the matter, Chiquita? Aren't you in the mood for some hot Diablo passion? Ricardo, you'll burn that poor girl alive. Aye, if it isn't the Ice Princess. Since you never seem interested in old Ricardo, maybe Diablo can warm you up. <laughs> He's like running into the car. Feeling good again. Let's use, uh, Smite the Wicked. Arm of the Goddess. Fly to, move to... That'll teach you. Where are you going, buddy? You saved me. Miniman will take care of you. Miniman. Hold down the Alt key and move the mouse to rotate the camera. You can also zoom the camera by using the mouse wheel. Hmm, there you go. All right, all right. I see Miniman up there. I guess we're in like a bizarro universe where everyone's bad, maybe. They're gonna tell me to fly. Some characters have the ability to fly or levitate. Use the fly command to reach Minuteman oh. atop the nearby Woo building. You haven't paid your freedom tax, citizen! But I haven't got that much money. Perhaps you'd prefer a plunge to the pavement! Shaking down civilians isn't like Minuteman. I've got to stop him. Some powers have unique Kay. effects. Okay. Use your repulsion attack to knock Minuteman to the ground. Oh. <laughs> oh man, that did significant damage. 
Turns out Miniman sucks. He's a chump. By Take the that. goddess! How can this be? KO'd. Get away from him, you witch! Liberty, lad? What happened? Did school get out early today? Save your jokes for your evil doing friends. I'm here to finish what Minuteman started. Arcane Bolton. Liberty Lad uses grenades, which are strong against ground-based foes, but weak against flyers. If you keep Alchemist flying, she should defeat him easily. Well, didn't even have to do that. Manbot's at the corner of Third and Golden, but even with him, you'll never beat the rest of us. I wonder if she can run. Is there a run option? As fast as she moves. You know what this kind of reminds me of is that Nintendo X-Men game we played a long time ago, only like actually good. Arms of the goddess protects against many ranged attacks. Oh wait, there's a phone booth over here. Best used as a communications device, not a changing room. <laughs> like how Superman would just change in public. Get into his undies in a phone booth. You must free me! Manbot! But I thought you were gone. Trapped in the celestial clock. There's no time to waste. Hurry. Hold on, gotta be up this random dude. Oh, that's smart. Oh. And here's some for you. Break this Thanks, thing. We have to be on guard. My pleasure, sugar. But what's going on here? It looks like Freedom Force has gone crazy. And how did you? They were never your friends. Sooner or later, you'll realize that. Come on, Metal Man. They may get on my nerves sometimes, but... First, we have to stop their evil plans. We can figure out what caused them to go crazy later. All right. Full of energy. Ooh, now we got Minuteman, too. Or, or sorry, um, uh, Manbot? Attack Manbot's cage and... This also reminds me a lot of the Venture Brothers, which, for those of you who've never seen it or have never heard me talk about it before, it is an amazing parody of superhero and, like, cartoon shows and comics and, like, Johnny Quest and everything like that. Um, it ran for, like, ten years, but only had, like, five seasons. It's one of the best TV shows out there for continuity and stuff. Unfortunately, they kind of had to end it on a movie because the last season got canceled. Don't get me started on that, but uh, it's good all the way up until the end, but I wish it got a, good, uh, a final season, but I feel like Manbot is the kind of character you'd see on the Venture Brothers. It's kind of like The Tick. In fact, I think some of the, the creators from it might have worked on The Tick. So it's like, if you like The Tick, you will love Venture Brothers. So I'm just throwing it out there. You might want to check it out if you've never heard of it. Double click on a character's portrait or double tap a number key to track a character. Ah. Okay. Interesting. This building is an offense against nature, Bullet. Let's remove it. You can't be fast enough for me, my little garden salad. We've got to stop. My little garden salad. Some powers affect a large area at once. Use Manbot's release power to attack both these enemies release. at once. When you select it from the command menu, right click, you can see the area it affects. Benny, sorry, I have to do this. I'm dead. Sorry, I have to do this. What was it? Disruption? Cannot target self. Eve ground. Wait, Eve? All right, I don't know. Just gonna beat these guys up the old-fashioned way. Here comes a bitch. I'm done playing nice. Should have used Manbot's ability, but kind of too late. I'm here. Jeez, I'm here. All right, let's see if we can do this now. Wall up, focus. High energy beam. Transfer. Must target an object that is not a building or a character. Oh, there it was. Release. Do it. Man bot. Power time. <laughs> oh, shit. I think I uh, hurt my own character there. 
Oh, also, I kind of destroyed that building. <laughs> Oops. Okay. In future... Don't, uh... Don't do that. ...turns a hero to full health, full energy, and removes any negative conditions they may have. The medals on the character portrait show how many heroic revivals you have left. I guess I have one left for each character. This is... Strong characters can wield some objects as weapons. Have Manbot try using a traffic light as a club. I like Manbot. I thought he was going to be like Iron Man, but he's more like the Hulk. Or select Smackdown on the command menu. My Davy Jones locker. Are you taking this in, Seafton? <laughs> Sounds like Sean Connery. So we visit, and she's brought that rotting hunk of tin with her. Old? Did he say old? You bet he did. Come on, Man of War. Let's show the old prune what we think of backstabbers. Shriek. Man of War. Here you go, creepy. Oh no. Yes. Let's, uh, what do we do? Random curse on the target. I'm scared. I want to go home. Okay, I can't do anything. Oh, I'm stunned. Arcane bolt. I'm taking you out. Yeah, he's done. I'm scared. I want to go home. Uh, uppercut. Hey, uh, Hi, can't keep this girl down. And arcane bolt. I feel like the the um, sidekicks are easy to take down. You just get them in like one or two big punches. You really should push <laughs> uh, over here. Oh, she just got K straight up KO'd. All right. There's something that we're missing over here. There's like a yellow arrow. What did we miss? Way over. Oh, we we like missed. Oh, we missed a whole ton of markers. An experience bonus. Damn. Well, you know what? Whatever. We've come too far. It'll be fine. Oh, look how far back we'd have to go. Yeah, forget it. Um, okay. Go this way. Oh, what is this? Healing bonus. We will save you, whoever you are. We're working on it. We just have to first... Uh, I was going to say, who needs saving? Guess it's her? This enemy is resistant to your superpowers. Have Manbot try picking up a car to throw at him instead. Will do. Who is this? Microwave? Now, left click to throw, or select throw from the command. <laughs> <laughs> Updating friend of all classifications. That did it. Alchemist and Manbot now classified as enemies. Dodged. Biff. Slap. Zonk. Kablamo. Sorry, I have to do this. <laughs> Sorry, I have to do this. Purple energy X canisters restore your energy and make your energy regenerate faster for a while. Alright. Alchemist is energized. Objects near your enemies can also be used creatively. Use Manbot's disruption power to make the cars near this enemy explode. Okay, disruption. Give it up, losers. You don't want to be part of a club that doesn't want to have someone like you as a member. That'll teach you. I'm taking you out. Resisted. By the yeah, I don't think I got the cars to explode. Uh, alteration. Here comes. Here comes. I'll put a stop to that, that's over. Okay, hold on, man bot. Need to do something here, man. 
about a uh <laughs> gonna want to do that release again a beam with long range but poor accuracy okay just beat the guy up there was another um there was a British show that was sort of like the boys only much more toned down I think it was called no heroics the answer lies that was a pretty good show, too, actually. There have been so many good superhero parodies over the years. Oh, I'm kind of like... I don't know what's happening to me. My guy's, like, warped. Oh, we did it! First level complete. But what's happened? Has the whole world gone crazy? No, not the whole world, Sugar. Just you. Ted? What? Why are you doing this? Why? Alchemist. Betrayer. This is Mentor. Mentor? What's happening? You seem to be trapped in what appears to be half nightmare, half psychic vision. I am here to lead you out. I will attempt to stop the vision in process. There, the vision is halted. Now all that remains is to bring you back to a waking state. Wait, before you do that, what did you mean by psychic vision? Given the supernatural nature of your dream, one has to wonder if you are not experiencing a form of rudimentary precognition. You want to try that one again in good old English? There's no way to tell for sure, but your dream might foretell of a possible future. Whoa. A future where you are betrayed. Betrayed by freedom force. But... <laughs> It can't be. The debrief screen. It shows you how much prestige you have earned from completing. All right, yeah, I, I get that. I don't really need Try the. Uh... On the various tabs near the bottom. When you are done looking at this screen. All right, next. The character summary screen shows. Next. This is your chance to train alchemists. Left click on the. Oh. Train. Okay, so between missions, you train up. So it's... Here you can train oh, and you can train different characters. Character points. Kind of don't want to train these guys, because they just attacked me. By going on so I'll train uh, her instead. From the stats tab, or Attributes. Powers. From the powers, tab. powers. In order to buy new powers, you'll need to first raise the level of the preceding power. Oh, blessed Aegis. Aloft. Pell people upwards. Arcane Blast. This is totally like Diablo. Might the Wicked. We upgrade that. Ooh, level 5 slaps. We'll take it. Um, Info. He's made of flesh. <laughs> 130 pounds. Uh, you're solidly grounded in here now. You have no time for this extra damage type malarkey resistant to mystical and mental damage. Well, that could be useful. Totally has like RPG stats. Strength, speed, agility, endurance. English. Uh, energy. <laughs> well, I'm like, what was the NG? Can't be English. Obviously something else. Um, just pump up my arcane bolts. Oh, what's my secret origin? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> the Alchemist. Enlargement Price, the most popular and beautiful girl at City University. Hey, Catherine, how about a date? Hey, gorgeous, wait up. What a knockout. Come on, doll face. <laughs> what a knockout. Come here, doll face. Boys, but my allergies are killing me. What could a sweet thing like you be allergic to? Me. Oh, oh come on, sweet darling. Oh, wise goddess of the east, help me see the way. Guide me to righteousness, lead me out of darkness. Oh, wise goddess of the east, help me see the way. Why is my roommate the most unpopular girl in school? Laugh if you will, roommate, but the goddess is as old as time herself. Why, Emily, that goddess of yours must look a horrible fright. Have a care, Catherine. You want powers you do not understand. Later that night. That silly goose. If she thought less about the goddess and more about the homecoming dance, she wouldn't be such a awful boy. <laughs> Suddenly. 
strange light enters Catherine's room, or perhaps just her dreams, and in its purple glow, the image of the goddess appears. My spirit is entering yours, foolish girl. Like an alchemist converts base metals into gold, you will use my powers to convert wrong into right. Well, what a bizarre dream. How did that revolting statue end up in my hands? And why is it glowing so horribly? Who could that be? It's nearly three in the morning. You again? My goodness. You smell as if you've just come from some degenerate road. 3 a.m., that's a booty call. I just wanted a little kiss goodnight. You're hurting me! Now, nah, don't be like that, Colin. <laughs> Whoa! Unhand me! <laughs> Jeez! Oh, my. I assume he's fine. I mean, that, that though, was, like, legit day rape, what the guy was trying to do there. Like, or not even day rape. There was no date. Such will be the work of the alchemist. All right. Well, now that's a backstory. 100% Venture brothers y by the way. Like, sort of, like, a little cliche, a little cheesy and funny, but, like, also, you know, like, clearly... Sort of a bit of a love letter to the old superhero ways and stuff, so yeah. <laughs> Although, that guy who showed up in our room at 3 a.m., that, that's actually a little crazy. Um, anyway, okay. We upgraded the alchemist. Now visit the database in order to gather... All right. Here you can find detailed information on many of the villains, minions, and heroes that Freedom Force has encountered. Nuclear Winter? And the Time Master. This guy looks like Apocalypse from X-Men, and this guy... I don't know, is he supposed to be sort of like Red Skull? Okay, now, anyway. proceed to the next mission by clicking on the Mission Briefing button. <laughs> I think my rank was do-gooder, by the way. Somebody out of Mexican? Weird around here lately, know what I mean? With everything so quiet and all, so many team members of the active roster, not enough bad guys to smack around. I hear Mano was even thinking of sending Sea Urchin to summer camp. You know I was thinking of paying a visit to Shadow at the Patriot Penitentiary. She might be a psychopath, but I, Maria, does she fill out that cat suit? <laughs> Yeah. For juvenile humor, Diablo. Got a thing for the villains, eh? Somewhere else. We all miss that big thing, can Pequita. You don't understand. How could you? It's like one of the few games that I'm actually watching all the cutscenes because I I really dig this sort of like superhero parody kind of stuff. To the ready room! Now let me get this straight. This pozo comes in off the street, and all of a sudden we're headed to Cuba? Because the government can't do their job? This bozo happens to be the deputy director of the CIA! How dare you! Now, now, Minute Man. I can understand Diablo's reluctance. After all, if I had been the one who put Nuclear Winter and Time Master away, I'd be pretty angry too. But the truth is, Winter's been broken out of mega security by an unknown confederate, and he's taken Time Master with him. Although Time Master remains in temporal stasis, there's no telling what Winter has planned for him. And for all we know, they've enlisted Castro and his goons in their assistance. <laughs> After all, both Winter and that tin pot dictator take their marching orders straight from Moscow. I have sent out a global psychic beacon to the inactive Freedom Force members. I fear it will take some time for them to return to active service. For now, the burden lies on us. Be prepped and on board the Freedom Flyer in ten minutes. Saddle up, Freedom Force. We're heading to Cuba. Aye, so much for my dinner date. How will Susie, Carmen, and Maureen ever forgive me? Man, that guy's a player. Here's where you pick your squad for the mission. For this mission, all of your heroes have been chosen for you, so just enter the fray. Oh, well, we're leaving Miniman behind, eh? More of the leader than the doer type. Flying flag of freedom! Some kind of beam has frozen the Freedom Flyer, and I'm trapped in this infernal ice! You'll need to go into action without me until I can free myself! Freedom Force! Nuclear Winner's goons have infiltrated the base! We tried to counterattack, but he froze half the division with some kind of freezing machine. We're completely pinned down. There's no time to waste, team. You've got to find the source of that beam and take it out. 
I'll monitor your progress from here. Will do. Heads up, team. Looks like there's a flotilla of Russian bombers inbound. U.S. fighters are scrambling to respond, but some are bound to get through. Keep your heads down. Result bubbles can give you more information about... You can drag the mouse with the left button down to select multiple characters. All right. Also shift click to some objects like these crates and Oh, is it that guy? Throwing these at enemies can be very effective. Didn't even realize. When they detonate. You're going to an open gun to me. Forgive. Forgive me. Arcane Boltum. I surprise him. Whoa! You hate oh, bombs are coming. I love the sort of like uh, the like Cuban music in the background and stuff. Like we're in Cuba. It's what, what what's happening? There's a prestige bonus. Feel the frosty chill of your doom. Try keeping your flying characters in the air and using ranged attacks. Some enemies may not be able to retaliate against them. Okay, you fly. For Comrade Hunter! Here it comes. Get him. Okay, can you fly? No. Can you fly? There we go. Taking action against a relentless foe! Oh, a building got taken down. Our foes impinge upon my perceptions. Okay, head over this way, I guess. Or this way? What is this? Energy bonus. Okay, I don't know how to keep them flying. They keep coming to the ground. For the good of all. Mentor's instinct dominance can enrage enemies. Making them attack friends or foes at random. Hmm. Try using it on the group of enemies ahead. All right. For the good of all. This guy sounds drunk. For the good of all mankind. Hold down the control key to overpower an attack. Overpowered attacks do more damage and are harder to resist, but use more energy than a standard attack. Get. Yeah. Well, which is it? Do you want me to instinct dominance these guys, or...? I don't even know. Ready to rumble? Take them down, boys! I am no longer afflicted. Lie here. I am no longer afflicted. Did he say for Comrade Putin? <laughs> Am I just hearing things? For the, For the motherland! For the motherland! Lights of Rise and Rise! Um. Moons of Rakeshaw! Hit him! Sons of Shakar! See you, amigo? See you, amigo? I should got that guy. I find the enemies are annoying because they keep running away. One di well, that's one difference I'm noticing from Diablo. Forgive me. Forgive me. Everything's destructible though, it all has to point. Okay. You arcane bolt him. You electro beam him. You flaming fist him. Oh, why did they do the ground? <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> there was a miscommunication. I didn't mean to lightning bolt the bloody grass. <laughs> oh, man. That's pretty funny. Here comes an enemy. Everybody get him. They're like, all right, so you want me to hit the ground? I could do it. Frosty Hoodlum. By the guns. Of Rex the chill Healing of bonus. Who do I want to heal? I guess I will heal this guy. El Diablo. Takes care of them. Thanks, Freedom Force. I find it's a little tedious to. I wish there was an easier way to switch their basic attacks. 
So my one complaint with this is I wish when you selected someone oh you can never mind Never mind. I was gonna say I wish you could select our default attack Okay, what does this do? Freedom force hmm. Swift punch how about a flaming fist by default all right I was gonna say, I wish you could select the, the default thing, but, uh, you definitely can, so. Alright, that's good. Energy bonus. How about this guy grab it? And I want you to fly here. And then... I'm gonna get hit with the bomb, aren't I? I am taking action against those poor pilots. I have recovered mind and body. I think my uh, mental guy is about to go down. Rings of Rexor. Hold on, I should set her default attack to be the arcane bolt. There we go. Okay, so the default attack thing is actually very important. Okay, we need health for the mental guy. I see none. There's a lot of big open space between here and where I gotta go. Oh, Come on, men. hold on, what's that? Healing bonus. We're returning fire! For the motherland! Who's, hold on, who's firing? <laughs> for America! For freedom! Fully recovered, sir. Oh, I get that guy. You know what? Forget about that guy. One more push and we can take out that freeze ray! He's slow and weak. Ooh, this guy really needs health. For America! For America! Freedom! For America! Who keeps saying that for America? Healing bonus. You grab that. I need that man bod. He was very strong and tough. He took a lot of hits. Peaches and cream. Energy bonus. For America! Peaches and cream. You did it! Now the U.S. flyboy should be able to drive off the bombers! Time for a little conversation with the freeze-dried flunky. Where is everybody? For nuclear winter. Mental guys like running around the edge. I don't know where th this guy is. That's right over here. Oh no! He bonked me. Some attention, sugar. I'm gonna go for the weak guys first. I am no longer afflicted. Take this. Right, bad guy coming up. Get him. I will talk. Oh. That was easy. You are an open book to me. Alright, let's interrogate him. Mission successful. <laughs> I will not talk to you, you capitalist fool. The Domain is not a capitalist society. In fact, its powers rest with a charismatic dictator known as Lord Dominion, who... Ah, uh, mental. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, one as weak-minded as you need not wish to tell me what I need to know. But tell me you shall... A charismatic uh, yes. dictator. Apparently their leader is one known locally as La Roja. That means the red one. Yes, Diablo. I speak 834 languages, 
of which Earth Spanish is one. This red's base of operations is about 50 miles inland from here. It should be easy to... Ah! Enough of your parlor tricks, you alien fool. Now I shall use your own pathetic powers to destroy you. Uh-oh. Mentor, what's wrong? Mentor. Mentor. Snake? Snake? Snake! <laughs> Harder, you can adjust the difficulty from the option. Well, screen. it's a pretty good game, I feel. Oh, here we go. Secret origin. Dead man walking, shouts the guard. And although blood still courses through the veins of the man condemned this day to die, although his heart still pumps at a regular rate, Nathan Graves is dead indeed. Dead since the day one year ago when Nathan Graves' world came crashing in on him. Oh, Nathan, I hate it so when you leave in the morning. Patriot City is so big and dangerous. I feel like every time you leave, I may never see you again. There, there, Buttercup. Nothing's gonna happen to me. You promise? Cross my heart and hope to... Nathan Graves, don't you dare finish that sentence. <laughs> I'll see you tonight, and then... Hey there, Big N. Here's our new neighbor, Bill. I don't like the way he looks at me. With a girl as beautiful as you, who in their right mind wouldn't look? Later that night... That's strange. Jenny never leaves the door open. Jenny... Are you? Jenny! My god! No! No! Who Yikes. Who could have? Freeze! It's the police! Nathan Graves says nothing as the police take him away. He says nothing as the gun is found. He says nothing when he is told his fingerprints are on the pistol's hand grip. He says nothing as they come for him on this cold, cold morning. Why does he defend himself? As they strap him into the electric chair. And when they ask Nathan Graves if he has any last words, he says nothing. Excuse me, that's my seat. <laughs> right up front. Nathan sees the face of Bill, his neighbor and the man who called the police on that fateful night one year ago. And on that face, he sees a bitter smile. He's always lurking around. I don't like the way he looks at me. Good God, can it be? But his words are muffled by the rough fabric of the execution hood. Wait! Stop the execution! It's him! He killed my darling! Good grief! Some kind of strange energy is at the circuit breaker. It's surging into the prisoner! They don't electrocute your prisoners with magic energy. You... The innocent die while the guilty laugh. Who's laughing now? Why? Why did you kill her? Bullets going right through him as if he wasn't there. <laughs> the power of the grave compels you. Why did you kill her? I didn't. I didn't. Yes, I killed her. When I tried to kiss her, she pushed me away and said she was going to tell you where you got home. So you killed her? Run, fools. Tell the wicked their lies shall be brought into the light. Tried to kiss a dude's wife. She pushed me off and said she was going to tell her husband. So I friggin' murdered her. That's an escalation, man. <laughs> oh, man. I love the cheesiness of this. This is, uh, this is pretty great. Um, this is the recruit screen, and so yeah, you can... A list of the heroes who can be recruited. Oh, you can make custom characters, too. Cool. Points. To inspect a hero before recruiting them... Well, I think this is as far as we're gonna go, just because, you know, it, it does take time to go through this, and uh, we're already at, like, 40 minutes here. Even though we've only really done the tutorial in one level here. I can say without a doubt that this game may be one of the one of the best five dollar deals on steam i'm pretty sure you can get this on steam for five bucks i think i bought it on a sale for like a one dollar two dollars maybe so it goes on sale even but um 
Yeah, if you are like me and you like the superhero genre and you even enjoy when it pokes fun at itself, um, this does seem awesome. I will say the gameplay is like fine. It's like decent to me. It's not like amazing. Um, I don't really have too many big complaints, but it's, uh, you know, like as I was playing it, I, don't, I know I only played two levels and stuff. It seemed fine, but it's like, it just wasn't like, uh, a standout amazing set of gameplay that might pull me in. But if you do like squad based, you know, sort of Diablo style mechanics, it did seem good. Um, but I have to say the uh, story, the art, um, the writing, everything, it's it's just, it's, it's an awesome world, I think. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I feel like this is just an amazingly inventive and fun game. So if you like superhero stuff, I would 100% recommend it, even though I've only played two levels. Even if the gameplay doesn't stand out as amazing to you either, it's not like, you know, again, it's not bad. I'm not saying it's bad in any way. It just was sort of, uh, it was fine for what it was. It's just, um, I don't know if that gameplay like pulled me in so much, but even if you feel that way, like I would keep playing this further just to see more of the characters. Um, but uh, yeah, those are just my thoughts on it. Guys, what did you think here? Uh, Freedom Force versus the third Reich. Did it look as awesome to you as it did to me? Have you seen the Venture Brothers? If so, I would love to hear so in the comments. I literally know like no one in my normal life watches the Venture Brothers. I always mention it. Nobody's ever heard of it. If you're a fan of the Venture Brothers, let me know. But also, you know, The Tick, uh, The Boys, Invincible. Like what are other superhero shows that have a bit of a sense of humor about themselves? Um... You know, just anything, really. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to talk superheroes. But other than that, uh, yeah, I hope you did have some fun here today. If you did, like the video, subscribe, all the stuff. Come back soon for yet another game in the 1001 series, and we will see you then. Until next time, my friends, you all take care of yourselves, and peace.